Welcome to this session on creating section. So in this session, we will create a building section and place it on a sheet. And then in the following session, we'll actually create a detail from that building section and, and just drag and drop it onto the same sheet. So I've gone back to my A101 ground floor plan sheet. And again, we're going to create the section by simply placing the call out of, on the sheet. So I'm going to use the section call out. I'm going to select a drawing seed and I'm going to use this example arc building section. Again, I'm going to use the half sheet so that I place my section on the bottom half of the sheet and I leave some room at the top for an additional drawing later. And we'll select the height from model. And now I simply place the call out on my drawing and so I'm just going to roughly place it where I want it. I can always adjust it afterwards. So I'm going to start over here. We're going to draw across their plan. Again, you want to make sure you're using your AccuDraw to, to lock your axis and make sure you're going straight across there. Place the, the second side and then the third point determines which way the section will look. So we're going to look up and then also how far you look. So for instance, if I were to stop here in the middle of the building, I could control my, my section view so that I don't see the windows beyond. If I come all the way out beyond the building, then I am going to see those windows. So perhaps we'll set that here. Now we get that create drawing dialog again. And so we'll give it a name. We'll call this one section longitudinal. We're going to create the drawing model. We'll create a new section drawing. So we want to use the create new drawing file name. Copy that. And so my sections are going under A3. We'll save that. Again, we'll use eighth inch to a foot or one to a hundred and we'll set our visible edges to cached. I'm also going to create the sheet model. I'll create the new sheet file and we'll use the icon. Again, I'm just going to use the same name. Although again, I'm going to do just like I did for the elevations and maybe just call this A3 sections. So it's a little more generic because I may have more than one section on this sheet and we'll select save. So it'll be a new sheet for the drawing boundary. We're going to select the, the bottom and we're going to set our detail scale to eighth inch to a foot or one to a hundred in metric. We do want to add this new sheet to our sheet index and we just have to select the correct folder. So in this case, it'll be the A3 sections folder. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to select OK in the dialog. So now we see that call out on our plan. Again, if I select it, I have those handles. Now note that you can select a dot there in the middle. That will move just the graphic of the callout. Whereas if I select the arrow, it's changing the clipping. And this is where I may want to line that up, say with my grid. It determines where my floor elevation lines start. So again, I'm going to select the arrow on this side. Also note that those handles are arrows. And that means even though we've set up a clip volume, the view will show things beyond that clip volume. That's what the arrow indicates. If I right press on that arrow, I can actually toggle the cropping. And notice now I get a different handle there. And that indicates it's going to actually cut my view off it there. So that's 
means I will not see these windows beyond in my section. And you could do the same at the sides. It won't have much effect in this model, but if you had additional models beyond that clip, then you would end up seeing them in your view. We can also adjust where it's cut. So that green arrow right, allows us to adjust where the section is actually cut. Remember, wherever it's graphically drawn on the plan, that's where the drawing is going to be generated. And so I'm just going to center it here on my elevator opening, which will go through my door opening here and through my stair landing. I can also right press on that call out and notice, for instance, we can do things like create a gap. So if you don't want that line drawn all the way across your plan, you simply create a gap in there. Now let's go back to our links tab and we'll go and take a look at our drawings. So this will be under the sections building. So again, there is our section all drawn. It's already got the floor elevations marked. And again, we might want to add some additional annotation. We'll just put a few dimensions on. And then we'll go take a look at the sheet as well. So again, if we went back to our sheet index, we should find this one under the A3 sections folder. And there is our section already set up on the sheet. We've left room for another drawing to go on there. It's already numbered. And we're ready to go. In the next session, we're actually going to create a wall section. From this section, we'll just place it right here on the same sheet. So in that case, we'll be placing a, a different scale drawing on the same sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.